What's up model car mechanics? Have you ever been to a hobby shop and you saw a model car, but you really wanted to know what was inside the box before you bought it? Today I'm going to open up and show you what's inside the Ravel 1979 Camaro Z28 3-in-1 model kit. And if you stick to the end of this video, I will show you a great model car tip that will make your models look magnificent. So let's go down to the bench and see what's in the box. Now we roll the clock all the way back to 1979 as we check out this great Camaro Z28 3-in-1 kit from Ravel. This is a skill level 2 kit in 124 scale for ages 10 and up. On this side of the box we get some great details in history as well as the paint color chart. On this side of the box we've got some great pictures of our factory stock engine, the three different building options and this amazing blown street machine engine. Now let's open up the lid on our street burner kit and see what we have inside. Right away we get our plastic components all in a nice bag where they're safe and sound. Here we have our tires, these are the stock ones. And then we've got our race car tires in the back here, some nice slicks. There's our glass, our chrome in a bag, and our instructions and the decal sheet down below. And lo and behold, we've got our street machine tires as well. Here is the instruction sheet for our Revell 1979 Camaro Z28 3-in-1 model kit. Here's the front three quarters of our street machine version as well as the side front and rear view of the stock version. And then we've got our history of the Camaro here in three different panels for the different languages. A box telling us all the things we need to build our model kit and the customer service number. Panel one shows our engine block being glued together and it comes with a right and left hand side engine with the transmission pieces to glue into a solid engine and transmission. Then we've got our cylinder heads and valve covers, the exhaust manifolds and our intake manifold with the distributor molded in place. The steps continue in the bottom of our instruction sheet with our fan belts and pulley with the alternator all gluing onto the front of the block and then the block glues into the chassis. Now if you want to build your model as a street machine or a race car, this is the engine that you want. We have our right and left hand side engine block and transmission gluing together, cylinder head, valve cover, exhaust manifold, and then we've got our special blower manifold here, and then our blower that's molded in all these different pieces. So we've got the center of the blower, the front and the back, our two carburetors and the upper and lower scoop, and all that makes up the street race motor. Completing this motor at the bottom of the page, we have our stock style fan belt and pulley, and then we've also got this other additional pulley which goes up to the blower with a bracket, and there's our alternator going in place, and then this entire assembly drops right onto that chassis. Here we have the wheels for our model, and as you can see there's a lot of choices, so we have our traditional stock, factory stock type wheel going in the front, or you could also use this on your race car. There's the wheel outer itself, the tire, the backing plate, and the retainer. And then if you want to do the street version, you use these nice spoke wire wheels instead of the factory wheels and glue it up the same way. And then these pop onto that front axle, which then drops onto the chassis. So remember to get rid of your seam lines on these pegs because your wheels are going to pop on and lock into place. Panel 4 shows us our wheel assembly for the back of the car. Here's our factory stock wheel, there's our street wire wheel, and we've got these nice steel drag racing wheels. So again, they all go through the tires and into the wheel backs. And here we have the difference of the drag slicks and a deeper style wheel back for our dragster. Now panel 5 shows our rear axle assembly with the top of the differential and the drive shaft gluing down in place, we have our leaf springs and our exhaust system molded in place. And if you want the street and race version, here are some elevation blocks for the back just to lift up the rear axle. Here we have our wheels being glued into place and we also have some shock absorbers. And if we just move the panel down to the very bottom of the page, this is how it attaches onto the chassis. 
Here's the interior bucket for our stock and street race version, depending on how you want to build this. So we have our front bucket seats gluing into our interior tub, our side armrests, steering wheel, dashboard, and the gear shift all going into place. Now for our street race version, we can add in this wonderful roll bar and our fire extinguisher and an optional radar detector equipment for up on our dashboard. Then in our stock version, the interior would just go onto the chassis and the same is true for our street race version down below. Here we have the rear window being glued into place as well as the front window and our rear view mirror. Then our body drops into place on the stock, street, and race chassis, depending on how you built the earlier steps. Panel 8 shows our air cleaner being installed on top of our engine block for the stock version, and our upper radiator hose and the radiator wall and radiator all drop into place. For the street race version, since the blower is in there, we just need to put in the radiator hose and the radiator. Panel 9 shows our really wicked headlamps. Here we have the rear bucket and our clear glass being glued together. You do that twice, and then you would put them into our front dam. And then there's our little grill which goes inside as well. For the street race version, you wouldn't put in the inserted grill, you just have that wide open. Then we can drop our stock hood into place, or our street race hood with the open part for our blower to go in. And there's that nose cone also being glued to the front. Panel 10 shows us what's going on at the back of the car with our tail lamps being painted and glued into place as well as our rear bumper and our license plate. Then on the sides we have our side view mirrors and our T-tops being glued in as well. Panel 11 shows us the decal locations for our factory stock version of the Camaro. There's all the different stripes and the Z28 logo going on and making the car look wonderful. Down below we have the decal location for our street and race version. Here we have the Z Street decal which goes on the side. And for our race car we've got factory sponsors as well as muscle bound for the doors. Here we have our Camaro body and again it's very basic. We have the inner fender aprons molded in place with the windshield washer bottle and battery and brake master cylinder as well. Nice wiring inside there. Then we've got all the little side details like our scoops and our door latch handles. There's the spoiler molded in on the back trunk lid, which is also nice. Again, very well done. Some mold marks up underneath, but nothing to worry about. And out back, it looks just like a real 79 Camaro. Here we have the street machine and dragster parts, which include the hood with the cutout for the blower, the deeper dish rear wheels, fire extinguisher, a roll cage, the little blocks to raise up the rear springs, and right over here we have the blower intake manifold with the distributor molded in the back. Again, nicely done. No mold, a well, couple of little mold marks underneath the hood, but no fireproof matting. Again, a very simple kit and would look nice on your shelf. And now for you factory stock fans, here is the hood just as it would have come out of the GM factory with a little scoop. And then we've got our bucket seats front and back, the front grill area and bumper. And then we've got our intake manifold with again the distributor out back, our air cleaner with the snorkel and the correct wheel backs. So bringing this up into the camera, again we can see that the detail is rather soft but nice and this should go together and make a really good shelf model kit. Not too many mold marks under the hood, some in the back of the seats, but nothing that would cause any real problems. This parts tree includes the interior tub, the exhaust manifolds, the dashboard, the steering wheel, the radiator and support, the rear bumper, the two-piece engine block and our cylinder heads, as well as our fan belt and pulleys. Again, looking at this, the detail is quite crisp and nice on it. Even though it is a simplistic kit, it does resemble a Camaro very nicely. Inside our interior bucket, we do have some mold marks in there. We've got the proper pedals, and the door panels are a little bit light, but still end up looking nice. With the little armrest gluing in place, it should bring it up the detail quite a few different levels. We've got our center console molded as one piece as well, but overall a very nice model. Here we have our Camaro chassis, which again is quite slick and simple. 
There's all our wheel retainers, our front lower A-arms, our rear axle and differential, and again, a bit of flash on there, but uh, easy to clean up. Look at how nice the detailing is on there, very crisp. We have a unibody type construction with subframes and, of course, these sides. Underneath here we've got a number, but that's okay. And again, you know, really simple and easy to build, something you could put together on the weekend. Here we have the chrome tree, and there's our stock wheels, our grill insert, our valve covers, alternator, mirror, again, the blower components, and our street and drag racing wheels. And just take a look at how nicely detailed those are. They are very beautiful. Actually, if you can get two of these Camaros, you could use these as all the way around. But again, they give you what they give you. So there's our street wheels. Look at the detail on the grill. And on the other side, not too many mold marks to worry about. Some on the license plates and a little bit into the grill might be an issue. But overall, this is really amazing and a beautiful, beautiful chrome parts tree. Here's the glass components of the kit, and Ravel was really careful when they did put this in a plastic bag to avoid any scratches. Here on our rear window, you can see the rear window defogger lines that are etched in. There's our front glass, our rear tail lamps, and the T-tops, as well as our front headlights. Here we have the parts tree that contains the tires for this kit, and one thing that I've noticed with these is, at one point when I was a kid growing up, these tires used to say Goodyear GT radials, and all that uh, lettering on the sidewall is now eliminated. So these are just generic tires with no actual indication as to what brand or manufacturer they used to be. So I kind of wonder if Ravel in this time period actually lost their license with Goodyear and just erased it off the tires. Well, at any rate, these are the factory stock style tires, and you can see that the tread is still nice on them. These are the street machine type tires, which are basically larger versions of the factory stock wheels, or pardon me, tires. And again, they have a seam line running up the middle, so you have to clip these off and use your wheel spinner tool in order to fix them up. And then we've got these great big slicks in the back. And these are now one solid piece tires, but I do remember that where this ridge is was actually like a two piece and you plugged in the center into them, although I could be mistaken. Again, the slicks have no tread on them, but that's the way they're supposed to look. A wheel spinner tool and some sandpaper on a wooden block, and these will look nice on the tread surfaces. And now the moment you've been waiting for, here we have our decal sheet. And I've just removed the paper so we can get a true registration of the colors. Look at this, you get two different stripes. You get the brown Z28 stripe, or the blue version for however you want to paint this. And then we've got these nice STR 435 license plates, so that again would be street. And then down here we've got, for a drag racing version, the muscle-bound decal for the door, as well as all the different sponsors. And finally, we have for the street machine version, our Z Street side decals with our Z28 license plates in two different colors and a California Z Street. Have you built this model kit in the past? If so, which way did you build it? Did you build it as the stock version, the street machine, or the dragster? We would love to know in the comment section down below if you had any problems with the kit or generally how you liked it. And if you want to show us your pictures, do so on our Facebook page. I hope you found this video very helpful for your next model car purchase. Now, as promised, this video right here will show you a really cool technique that you can apply to your model cars. And if you want to see what model cars that you can buy from me today, check out this link right down here. Well, I really hope you enjoyed that video and we'll see you on the next one.